What's up everybody? Welcome back to Knife Craze 2.0 and today I will be reviewing and shooting my new air rifle, the 1938 Daisy adult model uh, carbine. You can also call it a BB gun or a BB rifle. Uh, so this is the adult model and the main difference between this one and your standard Red Rider is that it has a much thicker much longer stock so for the youth model it has a shorter stock which is about right here and for an adult to use it you kind of got to choke up on it a lot and it's really uncomfortable so what daisy did they uh, made the adult version it has a longer stock it fits much more comfortably uh, in your arm it goes all the way back to your shoulder uh, it's got an adjustable rear sight which I haven't really played around with yet because I haven't seen the need to. Uh, it has a fixed front sight. There are some BBs in it right now, as you can hear. It has this leather strap on here for whatever reason. I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to leave it on there. I kind of like it. Uh, but sometimes it does get in the way of you shooting it. Uh, so what I tend to do before I shoot, I tend to kind of fold it up so I can hold the trigger more comfortably uh, but it's not really that big of a deal pretty much how it works is right here you have a little door that you push in and slide up you pour your BBs in there then you close it and then right over here you can't really see it but there is a small hole for putting oil into the gun to keep it maintained and shooting well and then right here, there's this little notch which shows, uh, this is actually the chamber of the BB gun. This shows that you have a BB in the chamber. So it's pretty basic. It's lever action. Pretty much how you load it, you hold it upright like this so a BB goes from the magazine which is inside the barrel into the chamber. You cock it. If you have it horizontal when you cock it, a BB may not go into the chamber, so it's best to hold it upright like this. Uh, it has a standard trigger. The trigger appears to be made out of plastic. But a nice improvement on this uh, adult Red Rider is that they've changed the lever from plastic to metal, which I was happy to see. And then right here on the stock, as you see kind of uh, etched into the wood, it says Red Rider, made up of a cowboy with a lasso. So, yeah, it's a pretty standard BB gun. It wasn't that expensive. It was about 60 bucks uh, where I got it from. And uh, in Canadian Tire, they only have the youth model, which is smaller. And they want like 70 or 80 bucks for it. So I actually got a better rifle for cheaper. And it's not a knockoff. It is a real daisy. It says so right there. Daisy, and so far I've shot it quite a bit. Uh, it's not the most accurate. It tends to go over to the left a bit, uh, but we actually are going to shoot it. We're going to test it, and we're going to see how accurate it really is. And then after we shoot our target with it, I have an old TV here that doesn't work, uh, an old flat screen. Uh, we're going to shoot that and see what kind of damage it does. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see from here. I'm sorry. This is the best angle I can get. But what we have here is the box that it's shipped in. We have some shots right here on the O where it says Ryobi. So I've been kind of using that as a practice area. And it's not exactly dead on. Uh, the shots are kind of a little to the left and up. And I have some other uh, targets drawn on here. So we're going to take a shot. We're going to take a couple shots. And we're going to see how well it does. So we got the rifle. Hold it upright. It's already cocked. Let's do it. Almost forgot. Always wear eye protection when shooting BB guns. That way you don't blow out your eye and have to go to the hospital and wait five hours until a doctor sees you. All right, so I am gonna aim for the circular target to the left or on your screens it might be to the right of where it says uh, one plus. 
We're going to shoot five shots. That was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, uh, the shots may not exactly be accurate. My hands are a little shaky right now. I've drank a lot of coffee today. But uh, let's see how we did. So as you can see, this is where I was aiming. Here's our center, our bullseye, if you will. Uh, most of the shots, this is probably due to my hands being shaky. Uh, because the rifle seems to be fairly accurate as you see over here I was aiming for here and they kind of went over here so it's less than an inch away but a pretty good grouping but uh, right here our shots are kind of scattered okay so now we're gonna move on to the second part of our shooting test and we are going to shoot where is it we're gonna shoot this old TV right here Okay, here's hoping my phone doesn't get shot by accident. We got our eye protection. We got our rifle. Let's have a crack at it and see what it does. I love destroying things. That one didn't chamber. Okay, third shot. Fourth shot. And last but not least, fifth shot. Okay. So as you guys can see, we did some pretty significant damage to the TV here. This one seems to uh, have gone all the way through the screen. This one's a little smaller. This one, small. This one's a little bit bigger, but this one seems to be the biggest uh, puncture hole of all. Let's see, did it go through the back? No, didn't think so. It's not really that powerful of an air gun. It's more or less just meant for uh, planking stuff in your backyard, shooting tin cans, stuff like that. And no, I don't recommend shooting squirrels or birds, especially in a residential neighborhood, because you could be fined or even put in jail for that. So uh, just try to shoot inanimate objects for fun. Anyway, guys, that's the adult model Red Rider rifle. Uh, the finish on it seems good. Build quality seems good. The I do want to mention though the front stock right here. It does have a little bit of play to it. So that's something, but it's not too big of a problem. It shoots, it loads almost every time. Nine times out of ten, I'd say. And uh, I like it, I do. For the price I got it, it's a good little rifle for planking. You want, a, you want something cheap. You want something where you can just... Uh, shoot and have fun something where you don't need co2 you don't need specialized pellets uh, it's it's cheap it's effective it's a good way to teach uh, youngsters to shoot so you know if you have your kid and you approve of letting them learn gun safety which i think every kid should learn you know get him one of these or if he's too small get him the youth model uh, it's basic like i said it doesn't require co2 you just put bb's into the loading gate, you cock the lever, and you can shoot it. It's simple. With a little bit of practice, you can get pretty good with it. And like I said, it's much, much cheaper than some of the higher-end air guns that are out there. Almost dropped it. Okay, guys, so that was my review of the Daisy Red Rider Adult Model uh, BB gun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, leave a... Nice comment. Subscribe if you want to see more content. We're going to be having some more uh, weapon reviews on the way. Uh, so expect that within the coming days. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.